major upgrade for humanoids. Boston Dynamics just dropped a new Atlas update showing the most advanced gripper system they've ever built, while Figure revealed its third generation robot, Figure 03, complete with a rebuilt body, a smarter AI brain called Helix, and hands that can literally feel what they're holding. Both are making headlines for a reason, and it's easy to see why. In this video, we're breaking down what's new, what's real, and how close humanoids are to actually working like us. Let's break it down. Let's start with Boston Dynamics, because this one's quietly massive. Ever since the company switched Atlas from hydraulics to full electric, the entire focus has shifted from just movement to manipulation. They've already nailed balance, jumps, and recoveries. Now it's about what Atlas can actually do once it reaches an object. The team calls this phase the gripper journey, and they're not kidding. It's one of the hardest design problems in robotics. A gripper isn't just a clamp, it's a small mechanical miracle, full of actuators, sensors, and feedback systems crammed into a space smaller than a human hand. Boston Dynamics had to find the sweet spot between durability, control, and human-like versatility. That started with the GR1, a minimalist three-finger prototype that helped them learn how to mount a hand onto a humanoid that sometimes falls face first. Because yes, when a robot trips, it usually lands on its own hands, and if those break, you're done. GR1 survived most of the time, but not always. That data shaped GR2. The GR2 gripper is a major step up. It's got seven degrees of freedom, powered by seven individual actuators, two for each of the three fingers, and one dedicated to the articulated thumb. That thumb changed everything. It gave Atlas posable control, the same mechanical advantage humans have when holding irregular objects. Each fingertip now has a soft elastomer pad, it grips better, but it also hides tactile sensors that translate tiny deformations into touch feedback. That's the robot's sense of feel. The tactile data is detailed enough for Atlas to sense if something's slipping or if it's squeezing too tightly. It's force feedback in real time, letting the robot handle fragile items without crushing them or hold heavier objects without dropping them. The goal is simple. Apply the smallest possible force that still keeps the object stable. Too light, it slips. Too strong, it breaks. And the robot constantly adjusts that balance just like we do unconsciously. Boston Dynamics debated for months whether to add more fingers, but decided to stay with three. More fingers mean more complexity, slower movement, and more potential points of failure. Three is enough for pinch grasps, stable rotations, and even heavy lifts, and the thumb makes two-finger precision grips possible for smaller or delicate objects. What's wild is how human-like the range has become. The fingers can rotate inward 90 degrees, roughly the same as a person, but they can also bend backward completely, giving Atlas moves that we physically can't do. It can even grasp objects from the back of the hand. The grippers come in mirrored left and right versions just like ours. Atlas doesn't have a dominant side, so it picks whichever hand gives it the better angle for a stable grasp. This next chapter for Atlas is all about dexterity. Tasks like bin picking, tool use, and assembling small components in industrial environments. Every upgrade to the hands feeds directly into that vision. Interestingly, as Boston Dynamics keeps refining these designs, they're slowly and naturally drifting toward more anthropomorphic forms, not for aesthetics, but because physics keeps rewarding the human layout. The company calls it an organic convergence. Whatever you call it, it's clear the next evolution of Atlas isn't about running faster, it's about learning to work. Now jump to figure, because while Boston Dynamics is perfecting motion and grip, figure is building for scale. On October 9th, they unveiled figure 03, their third generation humanoid, redesigned from the ground up to serve three goals, power, helix, fit into homes, and mass produce worldwide. Helix is figure's in-house vision, language, action, AI, Basically, the robot's brain and nervous system in one. To make it work properly, Figure 03 got an entirely new sensory suite and a new pair of hands. The vision system is twice as fast as before, with one quarter the latency and a 60% wider field of view per camera. It also has an expanded depth of field, letting Helix perceive and react across distances with far more stability. That matters because cluttered home environments are chaotic and small delays in perception can throw everything off. But the big innovation is in the hands. 
Each hand now includes an embedded palm camera that gives Helix a close range visual stream even when the main cameras can't see, like when it's reaching deep into a cabinet or working inside a narrow machine space. That means constant adaptive control even when visibility drops to zero. Figure also went all in on tactile engineering. After testing market sensors and realizing none could survive long-term stress, they built their own. Each fingertip sensor detects forces as small as three grams, literally light enough to feel a paperclip. That lets Helix distinguish between a solid grip and an impending slip before it happens. Combined with softer, more compliant fingertips that increase surface contact, Figure 03 can handle everything from glass to metal to flexible packaging without dropping or damaging it. There's also a data angle that sets Figure apart. Each robot can offload at 10 gigabits per second using millimeter wave bandwidth. So entire fleets can upload terabytes of data back to Figure for training and improvement. That's how Helix learns, a closed loop from pixels to action that scales across every deployed unit. For home use, Figure 03 got a serious safety redesign. The body now has multi-density foam to eliminate pinch points and is wrapped in soft textile instead of cold aluminum. It's lighter too, 9% less mass and smaller volume than Figure 02, making it easier to move through tight spaces. The battery system includes multiple protective layers, from the cell and interconnect level up to the full pack, all monitored by a dedicated battery management system. It's already certified to the United Nations 38.3 standard, meaning it meets international safety requirements for transport and use. Power management also went fully wireless. Charging coils in the feet allow two kilowatts of inductive charging just by stepping onto a dock. No cables, no ports. The robot simply walks over, charges, and walks away, uploading its data at the same time. But Figure's most impressive leap isn't technical, it's industrial. Unlike most humanoids, Figure 03 was built for mass manufacturing. The company re-engineered nearly every part with cost, part count, and assembly time in mind. They switched from CNC machining to high-volume processes like die casting, injection molding, and stamping, front-loading the investment into tooling so the cost per unit drops dramatically at scale. To make it all possible, Figure created its own supply chain from scratch. They vertically integrated actuators, batteries, sensors, and electronics in-house while partnering globally with suppliers who can handle strict quality and speed demands. The result is a system designed to scale fast from thousands to millions of parts under a tight ramp schedule. At the center of all this is BotQ, Figure's own factory built to scale humanoid production fast. The first line can push out around 12,000 robots a year with a target of 100,000 within four years. Every step runs through a custom execution system that tracks parts, performance, and quality in real time, and because Figure builds its key modules in-house, they can tweak and improve without waiting on anyone else. Even though Figure 03 was designed with homes in mind, it's already ready for work. The new actuators run twice as fast with higher torque density, giving it quicker pick-and-place speed. The upgraded cameras and tactile sensors handle fragile or uneven materials like a pro, and inductive charging means it can stay active almost non-stop. Just step onto the dock, recharge, and keep going. And now, fleets can actually look like fleets. Companies can brand their robots, add uniforms, tougher fabrics, or color-coded side screens for easy identification. For the first time, a humanoid doesn't look like a lab prototype, it looks like a product built for deployment. This is it for now. If you're into where humanoids are heading next, make sure to hit subscribe, drop a like, and I'll catch you in the next one.